Today I'm going to show you how to create a little baby and our baby is going to be dressed in pajamas. It's going to be a little boy and I've got some blue paste here. Uh, I've also got a flesh tone paste that I'm using for the head and then I have a little bit of flesh tone that we're going to make the ears, the nose out of and Got a few I'm kneading up my blue paste so that it's nice and warm and soft and easier to work with. Now I always start off with a ball shape when I'm creating anything. Move these back out of the way. So start off with a ball shape and I'm cupping it in both of my hands. Okay. Now I'm just going to roll this in a bit of a sausage shape because I'm going to need a few different pieces and parts here, okay? And I have a blade I'm using. This is just a clay blade. They sell this and market it for use with clay. But of course I use it with all my gum paste work and even on my cakes and whatnot. Alright, so we're going to need a piece for the body. So I'm cutting out that piece there. It's about two inches long. And I'm going to cut out a little piece that's going to be another sausage shape. And I would say that would be perfect for arms. And then we'll cut off another piece. Let's put this into a sausage form. And these are going to be our legs. And we'll just cut that in the middle. Create little balls out of those. And we'll just set those aside. And this is pretty much how I start all of my projects. So I can get all the different shapes I need. So they're pretty much the same size. Because you don't want, you know to create a figure that's got one crazy looking arm and one normal arm, you know, if they're not proportioned to the body size of what you're creating. And I believe this one is a little smaller. Yeah, that's considerably smaller. So we'll cut a little piece off and add to that. And I'll just push that in and work it in a bit. I can usually tell when I'm rolling them in my hands. And this one's a little bigger, I think. There we go. So we've got our body, our arms, and our legs. Our nose. Okay. Now the next thing we're going to do is work on the head a bit first. And I've just rolled out a ball shape for the head, okay? And I've got a ball tool. It's a stainless steel metal ball tool. As you can see, it's got one small piece on the end and a larger ball on the other end. Okay, and we're going to use the real small one today. And I'm just going to push this in where I want the eyes for my little baby. Okay, so just push some little sockets in. And that's all we need to do for that. Then we're taking a veining tool and we're going to create the mouth. And that's just a matter of using the larger end and the veining tool has a small end and a large end as well. And we're going to use the large end to push that right in and create a mouth. And we just have a little shape like this. Now you can create a smile by going side to side. And then I kind of push the little chin area up a bit so that I get a look someone, something like this. And you can play around with that and that's exactly how you learn to do these things is just playing around with them. Pushing it up further up on the side you get kind of a crooked smile. Whoops, we got a runaway head here. As I was saying, you got a crooked smile when you go up to the side and then you could go up the other side and make it look like you've got a huge smile, okay? and then you can just push that down 
and kind of make it meet together, okay? Like this. And then I like to just, we can just touch it on the side there, okay? I think that'll work for what we're doing. Okay, let's take a little bit of paste. We just need a little tiny ball. Doesn't need to be very big at all for the nose. And I've got a little water here, paintbrush, and this is what I use to make my pieces stick together. Even on my fondant cakes and whatnot, I do not use a sugar glue and gum paste glue or any of that that you hear about. I actually just use water, so I'm putting just a little dot of water on my face, and I'm going to create a little nose here, make a little ball. That's a paste. Then we're going to just stick that right into place. And you can play around with the shape on your nose as well. You can make it pointed. You can smash it down a bit. Or you can squeeze it a bit and make it narrow. You can do whatever. It's just a matter of getting the look that you like. And you can just play around with that a bit, okay? So we've got that going. We also need two little balls of white paste for the eyes. And those do not need to be very big at all. As a matter of fact, they're very, very tiny. And I just grab a piece off of my fondant, or my gum paste, I guess, sugar paste, and just let, you know, roll those up and let them drop until... I get something that looks uniform. Well, that one's a little large. I think that's going to be perfect there. And I'll check these to see if they look alike. And those look pretty good. Look about the same size. So we will go with that. Now we're going to let these little uh, white balls of paste set up because I like those to harden up a bit before we add those into our eye sockets. So let's just set those aside out of the way of our work area. Before we go any further, let's work on the ears. Just need a little bit of, of the flesh tone paste. And I like to create a little log shape, a little tiny, tiny log shape. And then I'm going to cut away each end, roll that out evenly, and then cut that right down the center so that I have two exact size pieces for the ears. Then roll those into little ball shapes as well. Okay, and those look pretty good. Then I have a clay shaper, and this is a cup round size zero. And if you look at the end of that, it's a rubber tip, and it looks as though half of it's been cut off. Okay, now if you look straight on, it's just a round end on it. And I use this for my ears. Okay, I'll turn it around a bit so you can see that better. I take the little ball and then I just push this into the side. And you're going to have a piece like that. 